because all of us like to have the chance to start anew, to correct things that we did in the past and we'd like to do better in the future. There are a lot of new faces here at Don Bosco Crystal Ray. We've got a new freshman class. If you're one of the new freshmen, please put up your hand. Okay, so we've got new freshmen. And we've got new Salesians here too, by the loop. And we've got new teachers that are on staff. New teachers. So we've got a lot of new things and new people to get to know and to come to work with in a more effective way. But even those of us who are not new, like new beginners, uh, a new sports team, or a team that wants to start the new season and have a better record this season than they had the last season. And at the beginning of a, a new calendar year, we find ourselves making resolutions to do things better in the new year than we may have done in the year in the past. But there are all kinds of occasions where a new beginning offers us hope. It allows us to believe that God can give us the courage, the strength, the possibility of improving on things that we did in the past. That promise of being able to renew ourselves and our lives and our futures is most visibly present when the Holy Spirit is there. In the reading, uh, the first reading that we had, the disciples were gathered in that upper room and they were afraid. They were afraid because they didn't want to necessarily uh, confront the future. But the Holy Spirit came to them and gave them power and courage and enthusiasm. He allowed them to turn that moment of fear, that moment of trepidation, into a moment of hope. And so, at the beginning of a new academic year, we ask that same Holy Spirit to do for us what he did for those first disciples. To give us the courage to go into the future confident that we're going to do better. Better athletics, better academics. We're going to meet new friends. We're going to engage in new activities that will be a blessing for us. We don't know how those blessings will display themselves, but if we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we're confident that we will discover. So I'm happy to be with you as you begin a new academic year. May it be for all of you, faculty, staff, students, parents, may it be a year filled with wonder and grace, hope and joy, so that this year, the year that lies ahead will be filled with so many blessings that you will even look back on it and say, you know, I think this is the best year ever. <laughs>